Well, hey guys. So, um, as promised, I have a ton of uh, new Asian skincare to share with you guys, including um, some sunscreens and um, a lot of the products that you all have requested. Let me just take a sip of water here. Um, so, my last Asian skincare haul garnered a lot of enthusiasm in the comments and a lot of requests. And a company called Beauty Sesh reached out to me and offered to send me a variety of Asian skincare products, many of which you all had requested me to try out. Um, so I'm really grateful for the folks at Beauty Sesh because they sent me this huge box, guys, of skincare stuff to share with you guys. Um, and I just think that's so sweet. Totally, um, that was totally nice of them. They also um, sent me a discount code to share with you all for 10% off. So a little bit about them if you're not familiar. They're an online merchant uh, that uh, they're an online Asian skincare merchant that has many, many popular uh, Japanese and Korean uh, skincare brands like uh, Biore, Tony Moly, Hadalabo, um, Etude House. Mizan, I mean, the list goes on and on. They're based in Hawaii, and what I like about them for you all is that not only do they ship to the United States, uh, but they also ship to Canada, the UK, Australia, I'm just reading my list here, Finland, Ireland, New Zealand, Norway, Poland, Singapore, Sweden, and Switzerland. So they can reach many more of you all. Um, they're based in Hawaii, and um, as soon as she sent me the box, it came quite quickly. Um, so they're pretty uh, expeditious. And, and they guaranteed the authenticity of all of their um, Asian skincare uh, brands. So uh, with that, let's just go through the box, guys. And um, in addition to the box, I also purchased a few things myself um, to share with you guys. Um, and so I'll also share those with you. Um, that was before they reached out to me that I bought those. And so they took a while to come because I ordered them from the Amazonian and they came all the way from Japan. So they took a while to get here. But oh my goodness, this box is huge. Okay. And everything is wrapped really nicely. I will also point that out to you guys. This is sort of like a first impression unboxing. I'm really excited. Ah, this is so fun. Okay, I'm really excited about this, and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was um, just looking at it on the website. This is the Holika Holika. I hope I'm saying that right. I, I'm almost certain I'm not. Um, soothing gel. It has 99% aloe in it, and I thought that this would be fun. <clears throat> I thought that this would be fun to try out because aloe vera is incredibly soothing. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It's good on inflammatory lesions of psoriasis. That has been demonstrated, and we all know very well from unfortunate experiences in the past that aloe vera is particularly soothing on a sunburn so I was really stoked to try this out I believe it contains um, their 99% soothing aloe gel so I'll be excited to try that out um, probably still on some of my healing um, uh, scrapes here which are pretty much all healed up from my injury the other day um, hopefully I don't get any sunburns that is not a good look for me but um, I love putting aloe vera in an ice cube tray that's just a little tip and freezing it and then if you do have a burn of putting the um, aloe vera ice cubes on your skin so I'll be excited to try this one out Okay, ooh, this is exciting. I've seen this on YouTube before. This is the um, Laneige, Laneige Special Care Water Sleeping Mask. So this is a product that you're supposed to put on your face for extra hydration. You know the, the tenants, in my opinion, of a good skincare routine are moisturization and, and sunscreen. And so this is a moisturizing uh, leave-on sleep mask in their sleep care line that you uh, put on the face and neck. And it contains um, a variety of emollients in it, hyaluronic acid, as well as evening primrose root extract, which you guys asked me a fair about, amount about on here. Um, and honestly, is not uh, super well studied, um, but it uh, doesn't appear to be too uh, irritating. It also has dimethicone in it, which I've mentioned is very good for um, as an emollient and softening the skin. So I'm excited to try that out. Thank you. Oh, and it comes with this cute little scoop. <laughs> you know I'd want to eat gelato out of that. <laughs> 
All right, and so you guys know that I've recently tried out, thanks to your recommendations, the Hadalabo um, oil-based cleanser, and really, I've really been enjoying that. It's a gentle, non-abrasive way to remove my mascara and my sunscreen. And you guys have been giving a shout out to the Vanilla Zero Purity. It says it transforms into a silky oil while effortlessly dissolving even tenacious makeup and impurities without stripping the skin. I'm excited to try that. And then I'm also, likewise, excited to try the All Clean Balm to remove sunscreen from my face as well as my mascara. This, I believe, is a similar product from Hamish. Hamish? Um, it says it's a clean and comfortable beauty intensive cleansing balm. It does have a handful, many botanic fruit extracts, which I uh, imagine could potentially be problematic. But nonetheless, um, I, many of you mentioned you like this. As I say, these things should not be left on the skin, so we'll see how, how well it, it does. Okay, and then you guys um, also uh, gave a shout out to, um, you know that I love ceramides and skincare. I, uh, if you missed my CeraVe um, skincare product review that um, of all the CeraVe products that I love, um, ceramides are a natural component of our, um, of our skin barrier. They're the most abundant limpid and uh, putting them on exogenously at all, actually demonstrates to be an effective and important mechanism in restoring the skin barrier both on the body as well as the face um, and kind of helping restore the skin. Um, and so you all gave a shout out to this um, Dr. Jarts. This is a Ceramedin Light Cream Special Edition. It's both the cream and the liquid, which I'm guessing is more of a lotion. The, the liquid I think is more of a lotion, whereas the Dr. Jarts Ceramedin Light cream I think is more of a, a thick body cream so I am really jazzed to try these guys out um, and see how they compare to my friend Sarah V um, so thanks guys for recommending that and then they also sent me um, these micro waters uh, by Dr. Jarts, the Derma Clear, um, to try out as a way to gently remove uh, makeup as well. So you all know I've tried the micellar waters and I'm not particularly fond of them. Um, I find them irritating and you have to use quite a bit of abrasion. But I do have those cute little um, cotton, um, cotton, labo, cotton labo pads that I got um, at the Japanese beauty store. I believe I can use those with this water in an effort to attempt to remove my um, my mascara and, and we'll see how that does in comparison to the Garnier micellar water which I was not a fan of. Um, and then later I'll also try out the Biore micellar water but so far I haven't been impressed with micellar waters but we'll see how Dr. Jart does. He, the thing that I like about him is that um, he doesn't have uh, many irritating things in him. He does have castor oil, which you guys seem to like, and is nice on the eyelashes and not too irritating. A variety of fruit extracts, however, um, should not really be left on the skin. He's also got the Galactomyces ferment um, and the rice ferment filtrate, um, as well as salicylic acid. So I don't think this should be left on the skin. It does, and, and it does say that in the directions to rinse it off with warm water. Okay, and then they also, you guys have been wanting me to try out um, some BB cream. So you mentioned the Dr. Jart one, um, and you all know that I don't really use makeup, but I do wear the Elta MD tinted um, mineral sunscreen and so you wanted me to try out some BB creams in a similar fashion and you asked about this Dr. Jarts one so I'm going to be trying him out um, he's got titanium dioxide in it and um, so this is SPF 30 um, with a PA of 2 plus which isn't um, huge the PA is um, essentially a measure of um, essentially a Japanese, it's either Japanese or Korean, I believe it's Japanese measure of uh, UVA protection, um, how they grade it there. So I think it goes up to a 5 plus, I want to say 4 or 5 plus. So I don't know, this doesn't seem like super great, but on top of a base layer, um, I'll be interested to give it a try. Um, and it says it's elastic and silky so I'll be excited to try that. Then they also sent me the Safe Block Sebum Zero Sun SPF 50 from Misha. Misha? Misha? 
Um, this is this gets three pluses and is SPF 50 sebum control, which I don't and that seems gimmicky to me. Um, but it's a mineral sunscreen, and um, how cute is that? Let's see, is this tinted? I'm just gonna open it up to see if it's tinted. So this is a good. Sounds like a mineral sunscreen. Let's see. We'll just do an unsqueezing here on the on the hand. That one goes in pretty nice. So that's the, ooh, it has a, oh, it smells really good. Heavily fragranced, but for the body, I think, ooh, that smells nice. This is nice for the, this is really nice for the backs of the hands. <laughs> um, I like the smell of this. Um, definitely has fragrance in it, though. Um, so be careful putting this on your face, but boy, that smells, it smells really good. Um, it smells really nice. Yeah, I would say this is more in the category of perfume. I, I don't know that I'll be putting this on my face, but I will definitely use it on my hands for sure. I like it. Okay, just a quick first impression. All right, and then I imagine if you actually get um, a box, maybe they send it to you like this. This other box came within the box. So this is their packaging. How cute is that? So we get to open this up. This is so much fun, guys. It's very nice the way everything's wrapped. I will definitely say that. You can see everything is nicely sealed in this. Okay, cool. So moving on into the realm of body moisturizers, they sent me the Skin Food Intensive Shea Butter Cream. I think you all were asking about this one too as a body moisturizer, as a body moisturizer, and if I could review it as far as how it would compare to like the um, CeraVe containing, uh, and in terms of how it would compare to CeraVe. This not only has oat extract, which is what is in a lot of the Aveeno products, because oat um, extracts can be helpful in soothing um, dry skin. It has shea butter, but it also has a ceramide mixture in it. So I'm really excited to try him out, and our friend Dr. Uh, Jarrett helped me. Um, so that's exciting. Um, and then they also sent me, oh, in the realm of cleansing oils, this is exciting, the face oil, the face shops, rice, rice water bright light cleansing oil. I'm stoked to try that because um, this is more like the Hadalabo packaging in terms of the pump. Uh, so I'm excited to try that. Let's see, does this have fragrance in it? Um, this is jojoba oil and rice bran oil, which sounds nice. Yeah, this is a plant-based oil, like I said, um, with rice bran oil and jojoba oil. Uh, no mineral oil, for those of you who are bothered by that, although mineral oil itself is not particularly uh, dangerous or uh, pore clogging. Um, and this uh, does not appear, this does have fragrance in it, however, but like I said, these should not be left on the skin. Okay, and so moving right along. Oh, cool. We've got the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Gel. Um, this I looked online, and I believe this contains Tinosorb. So this is a uh, chemical sunscreen, uh, most likely in a water base, uh, with a variety of filters that um, I don't believe are here in our, US fil in our U.S. sunscreens. This one is a Japanese sunscreen that I've been wanting to try out. And then they also sent me the Biore UV um, SPF 50 uh, 4 Plus Watery Essence, aqua, aqua Rich Watery Essence. Similarly, this is a chemical sunscreen that has um, some UVB filters like uh, in the Cinemate family and the Salicylate family, as well as some uh, pan UV filters like I believe this has Tinosorb in it um, from what I looked from what I identified online. I cannot read the, um, the, the labeling, however, on this. And then moving along in Biore, they also sent me the Perfect Milk. So I think this is more of a, a milky, uh, creamy one. Uh, it looks like to be, at least from the sweet pictures on the back of these people outdoors having a good time, it looks like maybe it's potentially better for areas of the body. Um, this gets a four plus, SPF 50 plus. And then, what the heck is this? Um, Skin Foods Tomato Jelly Lip Tint. Ooh wee, I don't know how compliant I'll be with that. Um, looking like a tomato lip. But thank you, that was sweet to throw in there. Oh, and then we've got some masks. 
because we all know I love masks. I think that's what these are. Ooh, I'm stoked to smoke for these. Okay, we've got Dr. Jard's V7 Toning Mask, Ultra Fine Real White Sheet Mask. Oh, yes, this, this looks like a Friday night special right here. Thank you. And then they sent me a Tea Tree Care Solution Mask by MediHeal. Um, so we'll do those together as well as the aquaring um, mask. Boy, this looks like it hooks you up to an IV or something. I'm excited to try that. Um, and then here's a hyaluronic acid mask by Hera. Boy, that'll be fun. And the Vita Light Beam Essential Mask, again by MediHeal. Phase, tr phase Transition Cellulose Mask. Boy, it's got, it's got, it transitions. I have no idea how this works, guys. Uh, it does have salicylic acid in it, so um, we'll see. I'm excited to try that out. You know I love to do my masks more for, uh, for uh, brain added uh, relaxation. So before they reached out to me, I too purchased the Biore UV Aqua Rich uh, Watery Essence. So I've got two tubes of that. Not mad about it. The, the one I purchased, however, took a very, very long time to get here because I purchased it. I ordered it from a Japanese distributor in Japan on Amazon, um, who I'm hoping is reliable. Whereas the Beauty Sesh one got here, you know, maybe in like three or four business days versus the ones that I ordered from Japan took like over two months to get here. <laughs> Um, okay, and so I also ordered the, um, this is Shiseido's Q10 BG sunscreen, SPF 4 plus, 50, SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus. Sorry, it's a mouthful. This also has tin in it. This is by Shiseido. Um, the Q10 is an antioxidant, um, but like I've said, these kinds of things aren't super stable in topical form. So um, I'll be interested to see how this goes on. Um, and then I also picked up the uh, Nivea Sun Protect Water Gel. Um, this comes in a pump, which is kind of nice. Uh, this is PA3+, plus, so, I don't, um, so not as good as the Biore ones, but um, also a liquid uh, product uh, for the face, I believe. So I'll be stoked to try out these Japanese sunscreens for sure. And then also from Shiseido, I got um, to try out just some samples. This is the Shiseido SPF 40. This is here in the U.S. what we have here. SPF 40 um, Urban Environment UV Protect Cream, SPF 40 for face and body. This is a combination sunscreen, so I'd be interested to see how this compares to my Elta MD UV Sport, um, as well as that Soul Bar Zinc one, I believe, was a combination sunscreen. Yes, it was, that I tried out and really liked. So we'll see how this guy um, goes on. I think he's rather pricey, though, but I'll be excited to try him. And then I also got the um, SPF 50 Plus Wet Force Ultimate Sun Protection Cream. This is, um, again, a combination sunscreen with both zinc and titanium and then a few UVB chemical filters um, in there. And then last but not least, I got the uh, Shiseido, a little sample of the Shiseido 50 Plus Wet Force for Sensitive Skin and Children Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion. This is a strictly mineral sunscreen with only titanium and zinc oxide in it and it uh, is fragrance free and so this one is sort of the one that seems to be like it will potentially be the best for uh, sensitive skin. Here I'll just hold it up for you guys. Try out here. I do think however these are very expensive so I, I may like how they feel going on and what have you but I may not they may not be the kind of thing that I'd willingly recommend because I don't really think Skincare and sunscreen should cost a lot of money because that affects your ability to consistently comply with it if you go broke having to purchase it. But 
Um, thank you so much, Beauty Sash. I will list all of these down below in the description box as well as the coupon code they generously shared with me to share with you all. Uh, please comment below on your thoughts um, if you've tried any of these things if you, and have any pointers. I love the recommendations. We love learning from you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Asian skincare haul. Stay tuned for the vlogs where I'll be trying all the stuff out and sharing my feedback with you guys and sharing the fun with you guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.